Another setback in a historic space flight, the launch of Boeing's first crewed space mission. Aboard its Starliner spacecraft, it was set for today, but unfortunately, it's been scrubbed again. Uh, the mission more than a decade in the making. News Nation's Alicia Nieves has been tracking this launch attempt this afternoon. This is history on hold again. Today's delay marks the third one for Boeing Starliner, what was supposed to be the first time the Starliner would launch a NASA crew to the International Space Station. Not a great look for Boeing, trying to make good on its contract with NASA to prove that it can ferry astronauts successfully to and from the ISS. What we saw today, just before the scheduled launch, and I'm talking three minutes and 50 seconds ahead of takeoff, was a flight controller declaring hold, hold, hold. NASA saying a computer ground launching a sequencer was not loading into the correct operational configuration. We also know just before the astronauts, Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Suni Williams were strapping into the commercial space capsule, there was a communication issue with a valve associated with propellant loading. That was resolved within 10 minutes, we're told. But again, this delay and these delays that we have seen with this launch come after the first launch attempt that was on May 6th, that put on hold because of a Volve issue. Then May 17th, the next launch date, that was still not fixed. Obviously, safety over catastrophe here. Boeing saying it is working on addressing the issues from today. If it can address those issues, the next launch window is expected to be tomorrow at noon. If that doesn't pan out, though, we have been told the following flight windows will be June 5th or June 6th. Again, this is critical for Boeing, the deal with NASA, a multi-billion dollar contract to accomplish its mission, ferrying NASA astronauts to and from the ISS. They have to prove they can make good on that in three ways, more sustainably, more cost effectively, and faster than NASA could have. So far, having some trouble there. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.